decided if you want to try to sing. Yes. Praise God. Okay. And if you change your mind, let me know. And I'm sorry, Brother Jerry. Okay. Sister Debbie. Sister Sonia. Okay. And pray for Sister Sonia. She's such a trooper. She's nursing a migraine, and here she is serving the Lord with the migraine. So pray that the Lord takes that migraine away. So we're going to sing, He Brought Me Out. You want to give me a little bit of a... My heart was distressed neath Jehovah's dread frown. And lo, in the pit where my sins dragged me down, I cried to the Lord from the deep fiery clay, who tenderly brought me out to golden day. He brought me out of the miry clay. He set my feet on the rock to stay. He put a song in my soul to play, a song of praise, hallelujah. He placed me upon the strong rock by his side. My steps were established, and here I'll abide. No danger of falling while here I remain, but stand by his grace until the crown. Jonathan, I can't hear like my mic at all up here. Oops, sorry. I'm trying to destroy the stage. And I don't know if it, uh, yeah, I can hear it now. It's kind of through the monitor. Okay. Okay. Um, like I was saying earlier, I was listening to this compilation CD, and there was a, a group. And I'm going to kind of lay this out for Sister Sonia already up here. Bear with me for just a moment. There was a group that sang. There are two songs that we're familiar with, but they just combined them into one song. And I just really loved it. And I kept listening to it and listening to it and prayed about it, whether or not the Lord would have me to try this or not. But... Um, 
he didn't tell me no, and I thought maybe uh, this would be something that we could try today. So bear with me for just a second, because I got the books open for Sonia. In the meantime, you can turn to 566 in your red hymnal, keep your finger in 566, and then 450. And here's Sonia, I've got that one open for you. 566 will actually be the second song, and 450 will be the first one. Would you rather use this book? Okay. I'm going to turn this one. And again, thank you for bearing with me. And I'm sorry to the band for springing this on you. And they're in two different keys, so I'm not sure how this is going to go. <laughs> Just to make it more complicated. So the first song is Tis So Sweet to Trust in Jesus. And what we're going to do is we're going to sing the first verse and chorus all the way through. Then I'm going to have to get myself a marker. We're going to flip over to 566, no, not one. The only thing we're going to sing on 566 is the chorus. Jesus knows all about our struggles. He will guide till the day is done. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one, no, not one. So have you got it? We're going to sing 450 first, the first verse, tis so sweet to trust in Jesus, all the way through the first verse and the chorus. Flip over and sing just the chorus on no, not one. Flip back and do the second verse and chorus. Then flip back and do just the chorus. You'll get the hang of it. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll try to do that. You know how I am. And if you, should we just do it acapella the first run through? The first, we'll, I'll do the, we'll do it acapella the first first run through and then the man can come in and and I apologize again Sonia I texted them last night but I don't think she got my text so um, anyway here we go tis so sweet to trust in Jesus just to take him at his word just to rest upon his promise just to know i think i'm off key okay lord jesus jesus how i trust him how i've proved him o'er and o'er jesus jesus precious jesus Oh, for grace to trust him more. Jesus knows all about our struggles. He will guide till the day is done. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. Here's everybody got it. sweet to trust in Jesus just to trust his cleansing blood just in simple faith to plunge me neath the healing cleansing blood Jesus Jesus how I trust him
me when I heard it done like that, so I, yay. Give God the glory for that, definitely. Um, we'll go ahead and start our specials since we have several, which is awesome. Um, Sister Anita, you, are you ready to go ahead and come up? Okay. Jerry, you want to go ahead and come up? sing those two songs songs the right way, you know. We're trying to offer out it today. <laughs> Desperado, why don't you come to your senses? You've been out riding fences for so long your heart's a hard one but Jesus is still knocking now he's patiently waiting for you to open that door but don't you turn away from Jesus this time cause this may be your last time no one knows the day or the hour and if you turn away from Jesus today tomorrow it may be too late to pray desperado why don't you come to your senses I tear down all those fences and give God a try. The devil's a liar. Now he's a thief and denier. Now he'll stand there and tell you that everything is all right. But don't you turn away from Jesus this time, because this may be your last time. No one knows the day 
for the hour. And if you turn away from Jesus today, tomorrow it may be too late to pray. Desperado, why don't you come to your senses? You know that it's written that all men will die. Then comes the judgment, and where will you who be standing? Will you find your name written in the Lamb's book of life? Yes, will you find your name written there in the Lamb's book of life? Sister Anita, are you ready yet? That's okay. Or Bobby, or okay. I'm so thankful for our singers, and I'm so thankful for our band and our piano player. Then at other times it's it's not when God won't release you from someone. Um, I thought I'm not gonna sing what I sang last Sunday. I sang it last Sunday. But he says no, you can't sing that. I have not practiced at all. I'm going to try to stand over here. I love you, Kathy, but I couldn't hear the I couldn't hear my music last Sunday. Go ahead, Jonathan. There is a book. It's a book of life. It has the names of the ones who were bought by the blood of Christ. This precious book, it never fades. And every page tells the story of the ones who've been saved. I'm glad my name is written there. I remember the day I knelt in prayer. God took a pen and he wrote it down. Among the saints, once lost but found. So on the judgment day, when he takes a look, be sure he finds you in the book. Mm -hmm. There is a book, it's a book of life. It has the ones of the <laughs> it has the ones who fought for the blood of Christ. And in this book, there's room for more. For those who call the call the when he knocks at your heart's door. I'm by my name, it's written there. I remember the day I knelt in prayer. God took a pen and he wrote it down. Among the saints, what's lost but fell. me shout it's there to stay and it makes me shout it's there to stay and it makes me shout being great by the love being no score right and it can't be blotted out <laughs> i'm glad my name is written there i remember the day i knelt in prayer god took a pin and he wrote it down among the saints 
a judgment day when he takes a look be sure he finds you in the book there is a book it's book of life it has the names of the ones who are bought by the blood of Christ. It's a good song. And either Bobby or Debbie, are you either one ready? Blessing my heart, Bobby. I'm already about ready to start crying. You haven't even sang yet. Sing this on Troy. I don't know what key I'm going to be in, but I woke up with this song on my mind, Gary, and I'm pretty emotional these days. And uh, the Lord said, I'll continue to be with you. Sister Charlotte, he says that, right? He's with each one of us. And um, here lately, I've just been saying, the mountain's too high and the valley's too wide. And God is so faithful, and like the song you just sang, Anita, all I can plead is the blood of Jesus. So I'm going to try to get through this. Um, I don't even know the name of the song. I can't even walk without you holding my hand. <clears throat> switch keys in the middle of this. Just listen to the word. Pray for me. I thought number one would surely be me. I thought I could be what I wanted to
Sister Debbie, are you ready? feel like this is what the Lord wants me to sing that I my voice doesn't have a, a high, high range <laughs> so I have to make sure it doesn't get too high for me so just bear with me but this song was on my heart this morning and it just seems like the Lord has led this way and uh, just pray for me I am weak but thou art strong
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sister Debbie. Sister Debbie. Stay right here. That was a song that I was going to sing, but um, then the Lord changed my mind, but he wanted that song sung. So, praise God. Brother Jeff. This one kind of hit me just a little bit this morning, so I'm going to kind of throw it at you. Oh, the road is rough and rocky that I travel day by day. What a feeling in my journey. I'll see the great Milky Way. But I cannot sing like an angel, and I cannot preach like Paul. Lord, when you get ready, I'll be ready to answer the call. You said, Lord, when you left me, ascended and went away. Fear not and be patient, for I'll return someday. But I cannot sing like an angel, and I cannot preach like Paul. But Lord, when you get ready, I'll be ready to answer the call. I'm on my way to glory, that wonderful happy land. I want to sing in the heavenly chorus of the angels' happy band. But I cannot sing like an angel, and I cannot preach like Paul. But Lord, when you get ready, I'll be ready to answer the call. I cannot sing like an angel, and I cannot preach like Paul. But Lord, when you get ready, I'll be ready to answer the call. I cannot sing like an angel, and I cannot preach like Paul. But Lord, when you get ready, I'll be ready to answer the call.
want you to listen to this song. My wife's getting ready to sing. I ask her to sing that. And I know we're running a little late, but it sure goes with my message this morning. Listen to the words of this song. sights I will see there the saints of all ages they will kneel at his feet around the throne but in my new home when I look out the window I'm gonna see the face of my king just one look will do to prove it's a room, a room with a view. There's only one reason why I'll have a home there. I'll go there because Jesus died for my sins, and though I'm not worthy, and I'm so undeserving, because of God's grace, he's going to welcome What sights I will see there, the saints of all ages, they're going to kneel at his feet around the throne. But in my new home, when I look out the window, I'm going to see the face of my Just one look will do to prove it's a room, a room with a view. Of all of the things there to see, nothing. What sights I will see there, the saints of all ages, they're going to kneel at his feet, around the throne, but in my new home, when I look out the window, I'm going to see the face of
Bibles this morning, will you turn to Revelation chapter 21, chapter 21, please. Children 3 to 12 that would like to go to Children's Church. I know we're running late. Uh, I, I'll try to keep it short this morning, but I won't make you no promises. Revelation chapter 21, and uh, uh, most of you know that uh, have been here, I've been preaching a series of messages when the Lamb becomes a lion. In Revelation chapter one, uh, 21, he's returned to the Lamb. Uh, if you're able, no, you already are, if you're able, stand to your feet in reverence for reading God's Word. In verse 9, chapter 21, it says, And there came unto me one of the seven angels which had the seven vials full of the seven last plagues and talked with me saying come hither I'll show thee the bride and the lamb's wife and he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me that great city the holy Jerusalem descending out of heaven from God having the glory of God and her her light was like unto a stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal, and had a wall great and high, and had twelve gates, and at the gates twelve angels, and names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. On the east three gates, on the north three gates, on the south three gates, and on the west three gates. And the wall of the city had twelve foundations, and in them the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. And he that t talked with me had a golden reed to measure the city and the gates thereof and the wall thereof. And the city lieth four square, and the length is as large as the breadth, and the measured the city with a reed twelve thousand furlongs. And the length and breadth and the height of it are equal. Uh, if you're uh, interested, that measures out to be 1,500 miles square. Uh, and he measured the wall thereof at 140 and four cubits according to the measure of a man, that is, of the angel. Uh, and the building of the wall of it was of jasper, and the city was pure gold likened to clear glass. And the foundations of the wall of the city were garnished with no manner of precious stones, with all manner of precious stones. The first foundation was jasper, the second sapphire, the third a chalcedony, the fourth an emerald, the fifth sardonyx, the sixth sar sardius, and the seventh chrysolite, the eighth a beryl, the ninth a topaz, the tenth a chrysophorus, the eleventh a jacinth, the twelfth an amethyst. And the twelve gates were twelve pearls. Every several gate was of one pearl, and the city of the city, uh, the street of the city was pure gold as it were transparent glass. And I saw no temple therein, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it. And the city had no need of the sun, neither of the moon to shine in it, for the glory of God did lighten it, and the Lamb is the light thereof. And the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it, and the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor unto it, and the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day, for there shall be no night there. And they shall bring the glory and honor of the nations into it, and there shall in no wise enter into anything that defileth, neither whatsoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. Would you pray with me this morning? Lord, we thank you for this time, and thank you for what we've heard and what we've felt so far. Lord, I pray that you would anoint me to preach your word just for a little while this morning. Lord, I pray that when we leave here, we'd be, we could say that it's been good to be in the house of God. Lord, I pray that you would have your way in this congregation. Lord, I pray that you would bind them uh, together in a new journey that it'll be taking soon. Uh, Lord, and I pray that <clears throat> you would unite, unite us in, in the thought this morning that what heaven will be like, Lord. And I pray that you'll just have your way in this service. In Jesus' name, uh, amen. Uh, I want you to realize again that John's uh, 
out on the Isle of Patmos, and in the first chapter, he said, uh, I was in the Spirit on the Lord's Day. Uh, I want you to know, people, that if we're ever going to get what God's got for us in this life, we need to be in the Spirit, uh, not only on the Lord's Day, but every day that we live. Uh, and could I tell you, uh, I, I just believe uh, this, uh, the, the new earth, uh, the heaven, new heaven and new earth uh, uh, have already been created here uh, and he said, I saw this new Jerusalem coming down now. It didn't come down to earth. I believe it's suspended between heaven and earth. Uh, but I, I, I want you to, uh, and, and some of you Bible scholars may uh, uh, say, what, uh, this morning? But I'll try to prove to you what I'm talking about uh, <laughs> in the book of Hebrews uh, 11, chapter 8 through 10. Uh, Abraham is looking for a city, uh, uh, he said, uh, uh, which has foundations uh, made by God, and the builder and the maker was God. Uh, this is the city he was looking for. Uh, could I tell you, folks, uh, this morning, uh, if you're a born-again child of God, this is the city that you're looking for. Uh, and I want you to, uh, in, in the, in the uh, uh, book of Ephesians, uh, uh, not, verse uh, I believe it's the third chapter, verse 19 through 22 says, Christ broke down the wall and built a holy temple, Christ being the chief cornerstone. He is, he is the chief cornerstone. Uh, there in, in Ephesians, he said, uh, a building fitly joined together, uh, on the, and he is, Christ being the chief cornerstone. Uh, and then uh, uh, one of my favorite chapters, probably my favorite, favorite uh uh, chapter in the whole Bible, John chapter 14, he said, Let not your trouble heart be troubled. Believe in God, you believe in God, believe also in me. Uh, in my Father's house are many mansions. Uh, if it were not so, I would have told you. Uh, if I go away to pre and I go away to prepare a place for you, uh, and I'll come again in like manner where, where, uh, where I am, you may be also. Uh, could I tell you, folks, that uh, this is uh, the new city? Uh, the city of New Jerusalem uh, that God has prepared. Uh, I just believe uh, that by the, by the word of God uh, that he is prepared, and he says it's prepared for his bride. Uh, uh, could I tell you who that bride is this morning? Uh, it's, it's you and I. It's the church. Uh, it's the true believers. Uh, and could I tell you there won't be uh, anybody there uh, uh, that's not a born-again child of God. There won't be anybody there uh, that's not after they've been born born again uh, that, that has uh, uh, not done their best to live for uh, uh, Almighty God. Can I tell you folks, uh, I don't know about you, uh, but we can't live like hell in this life uh, and expect to go to heaven. Uh, I want you to know folks this morning uh, that a true child of God uh, will do their best. Uh, do we make mistakes? Yes, we do, uh, and, and some more than others. But could I tell you, my Bible tells me uh, that we have a heavenly Father uh, that is faithful and just to forgive our sins uh, if we ask. Uh, could I, uh, I, I want to make a, just a couple of quick points here this morning, uh, and then I'll, I'll let you go. Uh, but he said, uh, he, he, he described the city, uh, and I want you to know the city... Uh, is not the bride of Christ. The church is the bride of Christ. Uh, and the bride of Christ is going to dwell in this city. Uh, and I, I, here's something that I, in studying uh, that I noticed that I'd never noticed before. In verse 18, he said, And the building of it was, uh, uh, of, it was of jasper, uh, the wall is of jasper, uh, and the city was pure gold, uh, like unto clear glass. Uh, it, Rhonda, hold your hand up, your left hand. Uh, can I tell you, church, uh, that's the wedding ring. Uh, that's the wedding ring uh, of God with man, uh, uh, described right here, uh, of pure gold uh, and uh, of clear glass with the diamond setting in it. Uh, that is the, for the marriage supper of the Lamb, uh, when God uh, brings his people home uh, and, 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 and gives them their reward uh, for, for living for him on this earth. Uh, could I tell you folks, uh, it's going to be a glorious day. Uh, uh, in this uh, 11 years that I've pastored here, uh, uh, I've, I've uh, done officiated in several weddings. And, and uh, my wife will tell you that weddings and funerals are not my favorite thing of the ministry. Uh, but I'll tell you, uh, when two people join together uh, and become one, uh, when the church 
becomes one with Jesus Christ forever uh, to dwell in heaven uh, and worship Him uh, forever in that new city that He's built. Uh, I believe that's the city that uh, uh, Jesus was talking about uh, in, the, in the John chapter 14 uh, when He said, He go away to prepare a place for you. I believe that that's the place that He's building for you. And then uh, I want you to notice that uh, uh, the, the, it, that he said in my father's house are many mansions, but it said there uh, that the streets were uh, uh, of almost transparent gold. Uh, the things like that won't matter to us a whole lot there uh, because it'll matter uh, because of the loved ones that are there uh, and because of the centerpiece is going to be uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, and could I tell you, uh, I, I said a while ago that I've done several weddings, officiated several weddings, uh, and it's a glorious thing when a man and a woman come together. And by the way, uh, I don't care what your views are, uh, but God made man and woman. He didn't create Adam and Steve. He created Adam and Eve. Uh, and that's just the way the Bible tells it. Uh, and if you have any other views, then you need to get your Bible out and take a good look at it. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know about you. Uh, I won't be here but just another month or so, and if you don't agree, you can just stick around till I leave, and that's fine. Uh, but I'm, I'm telling you again, uh, he created Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Uh, and could I tell you, I know this world uh, has different viewpoints, uh, but when it comes to, when it's all said and done, uh, and a trumpet sounds and we ascend up into heaven, uh, it'll be uh, the marriage supper of the Lamb. It won't be. I'll leave that there. You do with it what you will. You believe what you believe. But I just believe I'll just stick with the old book, just exactly what God said. Those mansions. You know what? My wife and I are blessed with a nice home. We like to spend time there. And sometimes I just like to stay there instead of getting out and going to the store. But I don't believe we'll be spending much time in that mansion up there that God's prepared for us in heaven. I just believe, uh, hey, did you see where it said that God will, will be there and there won't be no need for the sun there? The, the, the sun will be the light. Uh, he'll provide, hey, there will be no more darkness, there will be no more night, and there will be no, no more... If you go back to the first uh, of this chapter I preached to you last week, uh, no more sorrows, no more tears, no more heartaches. Uh, all will be glory. Can you imagine? Uh, I won't have no aches and pains when I get up of the morning. Uh, I won't have no problems when I get to work uh, because my job up there will be praising a Savior that died and bled his, shed His blood for me. Uh, can you imagine, folks? Uh, do would you want to spend eternity anywhere else? Uh, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want to spend it in a place that, that's a literal fire uh, with the moaning and the groaning and the, where the worm dieth not. Uh, I don't want to be that place. Uh, I want to miss that place. Uh, but could I tell you uh, that sometimes down on this life, uh, some of you uh, I know have went through trials and tribulations. Some of us still going through trials and tribulations, uh, and it seems like it's a hard load to bear. Uh, and we wonder, why, God, would you allow this to happen to me? Uh, well, sometimes I think it's to, to keep us humble. Uh, sometimes I think it's just to remind us that we serve a God uh, that is a great God. Uh, and when he brings us through us, we're stronger when we get to the other side uh, than we were on this side. Uh, can I, hey, uh, I don't know about you. I know some of you are worried about a new pastor coming. Uh, where are we going to find one? Well, I'll just tell you this. Uh, God's already got someone picked out. Uh, and it's up to you uh, as a congregation to come together uh, and love one another uh, and praise the Lord and worship Him uh, and be consistent. Uh, and when the time is right, uh, God will reveal Him. Uh, and you'll know who your next pastor is going to be. Uh, 
Uh, could I tell you what uh, pastors come and go in churches today? Uh, but could I tell you uh, when the people combine together uh, and get solid in worshiping Christ uh, and get solid in, in what they need to believe in uh, and get solid and stick together and not be fighting amongst each other, uh, then God will bless the church uh, and it'll grow uh, and it'll do what God intended for it to do in the first place. Some of you, I saw your tears, and could I tell you, I love you just as much as, or more than you love me, and my wife does too. But God says, yes, God's told me that our time's up here. Are, uh, are, we, are we happy to be gone? No, we're not. No, we're not. I've stayed probably six months to a year longer than I should have because I was praying to the Lord to show me and every time I'd think that the, uh, my time was up, then something would happen to th think, uh, well, maybe it's not. Uh, but the Lord showed me clearly, I'm at peace with the decision. Am I going to miss this church? Absolutely. Uh, am I going to... Uh, am I going to miss preaching to you on Sunday mornings? Absolutely. Uh, am I going to miss say, hearing the songs singing? Uh, absolutely. Uh, am I going to miss the band that we're so blessed with here? Uh, absolutely. Uh, and somewhere down the road, uh, you, I don't know what God's got in store for us. Uh, let me just go ahead and tell you, I've told some others here, nothing has happened in the church to make us upset uh, and want to leave. Uh, that's not the case. Uh, uh, the, the church is probably the uh, probably blessed financially better than it's ever been when the door since the doors have been open uh, we've got a good group of people solid core group of people uh, that I love dearly and the Lord loves dearly and the church is going to go on uh, uh, and somewhere down the road uh, you might even see us come visit uh, somewhere down in the road uh, uh, you might see, might uh, I might get to come back and preach for you again sometime uh, for a time or two. Uh, but could I tell you, folks, uh, one of these days, uh, I don't know about you, uh, but I'm going to be in heaven, uh, and I'll be looking around. I believe for your face there, uh, and we'll be together for all eternity. We won't have to worry about trials and tribulations anymore. Uh, we'll just be praising the Lord. Uh, for what he's been to us, uh, not only in this life, but what he's going to do for us in the next life for all eternity. You know what it might be in heaven? I told you some of the things last, last week. And you young people here today, you ain't going to get this. There will not be any, there will not be any aging people in heaven. Let me put that mildly. Let me just put it bluntly. There will not be any old people in heaven. Amen. If there's old people, uh, we'll, have, we'll be spry. We won't have no bad knees. We won't have no... There will not, not be a single set of these in heaven. I promise you that. You can just throw them away. You just throw it away. There won't be no heartache. There won't be no anguish. And I've heard people say, well... I'll miss my loved ones that didn't make No, you won't. You won't even know it. If, that was, if you was able to, to remember that, God will wipe all those bad memories from your mind. I'm telling you, folks, I don't know about you, but I'm just ready to go. So, folks, we need to get our families, teach our families, teach our grandchildren, preach our, teach our great-grandbabies that they need a personal relationship with Jesus Christ in order to be there. Because it would break my heart if one of my children or grandchildren didn't make it. In fact, it would break my heart greatly if you didn't make it today. So... If I was looking around and it was up to me to decide, I would say everyone here will make it. But only you know for sure deep down whether you're ready to go this morning. I told you I'd try to keep it short, and I, I'm going to do that. But I, I want to remind you what the, what the Bible says 
what I read to you this morning. I don't want to miss, there's one wedding, dear, that I don't want to miss, and that's the wedding of the church to the Lamb. For the church is the bride of the Lamb. You ought to study that verse 18, and the building of the wall of it was of jasper, and the city was pure gold like unto clear glass. That's talking about the wedding ring of the, and the marriage supper of Christ and the church. But I want to remind you in closing this morning, it'll be a place we don't have to worry about somebody getting shot down the street. We don't have to worry about that. Verse 23 says, And the city had no need of the sun, neither the moon, to shine in it, for the glory of God did lighten it, and the Lamb is the light thereof. And the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it, and the, king, and the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor into it, and the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day, for there shall be no night there, and they shall bring the glory and honor of the nations to it. But verse 27 is a serious verse. You better, better listen to this. And there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defileth, neither whatsoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. Remember the first message in this series that I preached to you is they couldn't find someone to open the book. Jesus Christ is the one that opens the book. I pray that everyone's name here is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You know what? He's got a record of your life. Everything you say, everything you do. You, might, you young folks might think that's crazy. No, it's not. It's the way God planned it. But it's up to you. Stand with me this morning, please. If your name is not written in that Lamb's Book of Life, heaven will not be your home. You will not see those amazing sights. You will not be part of that worship forever and ever. You might be here this morning wondering, well, how can I get my name written in that Lamb's Book of Life? That's easy. That's just fall on your knees somewhere and say, Lord, here I am, a sinner. I, I pray that you'd just save my soul. And I pray that you'd help me in my walk for you and get up determined to live your life for Jesus Christ. That's how you get your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life. As they sing, one verse this morning is all we're going to sing. I know we're late, but we've got time for you. And we've got time uh, for you to, to pray and ask the Lord to be a, your Savior this morning, if you would. As they're singing, I don't care. You might be an older person and... and and have just maybe you've attended church all your life, but you haven't realized what you need to do. It'd be a good time to realize that we need a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. As they sing, would you come? I can hear my Savior call. who your next pastor is going to be. That God would just guide those in leadership. That they might contact the right people. 
might be a time to come pray for the church, the bride of Christ. If you're born again this morning, you're part of that bride of Christ, whether you're a member in this church or not. I can hear my Savior calling. I can hear my Anyone that'd like to pray for any reason, altars are open this morning. 